Hello, hairy people. It's your friend Nicole from Electro Yogi Electrolysis, your permanent hair removal goddess, here to teach you all. You probably already know about all the hair removal techniques that are out there the temporary ones, the maybe kind of sort of sometimes permanent ones, and the only permanent one that exists, which is electrolysis, our business. But usually by the time someone finds electrolysis, they've tried everything and they're crazy. They're like, I've tried everything. What do I do? Please tell me you've got the answer. And we do, but I wanna tell you about the other techniques so that you understand how to approach it, depending on what part of your body that you're trying to help and what to do and maybe what not to do. So temporary methods of hair removal, shaving, clipping, depilatory creams, waxing, threading, tweezing, sugaring. Those are the main temporary methods, okay? That's already seven. Semi-permanent sometimes, if we're lucky, reduction of some permanent reduced hairs, laser. Laser is not 100% permanent over time, but it can help and it can help in a huge way on certain areas. So I never discourage someone from doing laser, except if you've seen my previous posts on the face. Do not laser your face, please, because oftentimes on the face, because our facial hair is usually hormonally driven and because laser radiation is not permanently destroying the follicle tissue, nor is it cauterizing the blood supply entry place that is the food source of all hair growth. So when we make cells sick, but we don't destroy them, the germinative cells of hair growth, which is what laser does, if we make those cells sick, but we don't destroy them forever, they can come back with a vengeance or they can stimulate hair follicles that weren't stimulated before. Meaning you have like a patch of dark hair and suddenly you have a field of dark, fine, long hair. So that's the negative of lasering your face as a semi-permanent, occasionally permanent, temporary, convenient, way to remove your hair. The only technique for truly permanent hair removal is electrolysis. Electrolysis, if you can believe it, like your mom's favorite and your grandmother's favorite and your great, great, great grandmother's favorite remedy for a sore throat, honey and lemon, tried and true electrolysis. It's actually been around for more than a century, actually more than 125 years. It started as a technique discovered by an ophthalmologist, an eye doctor, who was trying to help people who have a terribly painful condition of their eyelashes growing into their eyeballs. I can imagine how painful that is. I can't even imagine when I get an eyelash in my eye, I'm going crazy. I can't imagine them growing, pointing into my eyeball. But that's a real condition, it still exists today. And a French scientist discovered that you can, at that time using galvanic current, permanently destroy a hair follicle using methods of electrolysis. We've come a long way in 125 years and electrolysis is still the permanent technique. And it's absolutely the technique I always recommend on your face. In fact, I usually use the belly up <laughs> Suggestion, meaning tummy, chest, breasts, underarms, face. Electrolysis, 90% of the time, is always gonna work better for you than trying a mix and match with laser from the belly up. From the belly down, bikinis, legs, these dense, giant areas, or if you're a man or anyone with unwanted hair on the chest or the back and it's full and it's all dark, then laser can reduce it for you. But generally, electrolysis, totally permanent, has been permanent, and that is gonna be your go-to if you're looking for a permanent solution. I'm gonna now rewind for a minute and talk back again about our temporary techniques. Shaving, clipping, 
depilatory creams, waxing, threading, sugaring, and what was the other one I said? A missing one. Anyway, these are a lot of them. Did I say tweezing? These temporary techniques, when you yank the hairs out at any time, tweezing, waxing, threading, sugaring, Anytime you yank your hairs out, what you are doing inadvertently is if you imagine your hair follicle to be like a cup of tissue that holds a little hair, like a vase, at the base of that cup are capillaries and veins and they act as the food source. They deliver blood to that tissue, to the hair follicle tissue. So just like if I were to slap my hand or punch the wall or fall down, <laughs> my skin would turn red. That's blood that's flowing to the area. When you yank your hairs out, tweezing, waxing, threading, sugaring, when you yank your hairs out, what you're actually doing is causing trauma to the tissue that then affects those capillaries and veins that are nourishing that cup that holds a potentially growing hair. And over time, by yanking the hairs out one by one, you're actually feeding the blood. You're increasing what we call techno-speak, electrology, nerdiness. You're increasing the vascular activity in the area. And when you increase vascular activity, it's the same as hormonal change that causes new hair the increased vascular activity over time will give you stronger, coarser, darker hairs and more of them. So countless times we have clients who come and they say, well, I started out with just a few hairs. Now I'm tweezing every single day. Or I'm, I, I had a client today, brand new client, threading. I can't go more than two weeks without threading. Or it's just a forest. Again, those temporary methods of yanking increase the vascular activity. So my suggestion, my ruling on the yank out methods, tweezing, waxing, threading, sugaring, don't do it. Don't do those. If you're gonna do temporary, don't do those. So then that leaves us some other temporary methods. Shaving, clipping, or depilatory creams. That's all my seven, I got it again. The depilatory creams are highly toxic chemicals. It's like a fancy version of bleach meets other bad stuff that I never want you to put on your skin. Will it work? Will it take off the fuzz on your upper lip? Probably. Does it work on some people's legs if they've never ever touched them before um, and they've got fine hair? Probably take it off for a little while. But I don't like depilatories because they're highly toxic and not good for your beautiful skin. So then that leaves us in terms of temporary methods, shaving and clipping. Clipping is okay. You can use little baby um, eyebrow scissors if you wanna clip your hairs down, but shaving is my favorite temporary method of hair removal. And the reason is, unlike our yank out methods, tweezing, waxing, threading, sugaring, you are never affecting that blood supply, which is such a critical piece to nourishing hairs to becoming stronger. And of course, if we have unwanted hair, if we don't wanna deal with the hair that's on our bodies to begin with, why would we wanna nourish them, right? We want to get rid of them. So why I love shaving is it's completely neutral. Contrary to any myths or information or um, improperly handed down uh, feedback from your mom or your grandmother or friends, shaving does not make your hair growth worse. What it does, when you shave hairs off, you're putting all the hairs that are available in a growing stage. And that's a whole nother conversation about the life cycle of a hair. And we'll save that for a different conversation. But Shaving, if you shave all the hairs off on your face or on your legs or on your underarms, and then you just waited and let them grow out, 
I promise you they're never going to change from how they were before you touch them. It's just that they're going through different phases of life before they grow out to their little soft fuzzy face. And that phase is again part of another lecture. But shaving will not make your problem worse and shaving is a beautiful temporary method of hair removal if you don't have the time, if you don't have the resources, and you cannot find an electrologist. So shaving is your friend, electrolysis is your permanent solution, laser is something in between, okay? Works sometimes, doesn't work a lot of times, and all those yank out methods, that's your message for the day on all the types of hair removal. If you like what you've heard, subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave us comments. I write back to everybody I can. And uh, tell a friend, electrolysis is your friend. Thank you so much.